Introducing the fighter in the red corner. 31 years old, 180 centimeters. The official weight fighter, 71 kilos exactly. His professional record is 59 fights, 46 wins, 14 victories by knockout, and 13 losses. Ladies and gentlemen, the representative of Congo. Introducing the fighter in the blue corner. The nine years old, 170 centimeters weight, 71 kilos exactly. His professional record is 31 fights, 25 wins, 12 victories by knockout, and six losses. Ladies and gentlemen, the representative from Ukraine. Fighters, play in the center of the ring. Shake hand. Пожали руки. Listen to my command. Слушай мою команду. W5 rules. Работаем по правилам W5. No clinch. It's clinch. It's for a sport. It's for a No rest. Good luck. Let's get ready for the first fight. W5. We are choosing the way the champion. This is going to be a great, great fight night for you guys and girls out there watching. We're just waiting now for the first bell. So have to get the cameraman out of the ring. The first round. And the Gimby at some point will try to get that knee in there. And you can already, you can see if Gany has a, a good, he has a strong legs, really strong legs, and you can hear, hear it when he uses that kick. But definitely we're going power over speed. Gimby's a fast fighter. You see he already going with that knee, bringing that knee up. He'll try and get Evgeny against the ropes, and if he does, he'll come in with that flying knee kick. And in, uh, in the last fight, in, August, I'll tell you right now, when he landed, he just knocked, just knocked him right out, his, his, the, his opponent, Ilya Usachov. And again, he's very good, if you watch him, he'll be really good at trying to bait a fighter into his type of fight. And if he can do that, then it's definitely into his advantage. Obviously, it's advantage to any fighter if they can bait him. And he's not really doing much at this stage in time. He's just kind of, you know, looking. We should see a lot more aggressiveness coming in the second and third round. Yevgeny there with a nice little combination, a right hook followed by a left jab. Now, although Nagimbi's taller too, he's actually a good inside fighter. So getting inside isn't going to be much of a problem. And Yevgeny, although he has those short reach, he needs to get inside. So we'll see to whose advantage this is going to be tonight. Nice. Left-right combination right there by Nagimbi. Both of them got through the gloves of Gainey. Straight leg kick by Gainey. Connected with the midsection of Nagimbi. Both fighters feeling out their opponent. I think Yevgeny is much more the aggressor. He's definitely throwing the punches. Yevgeny kind of playing defense, just feeling him out right now. I'm sure it's not going to last in the second and third round. 20 seconds left in the first round. Yevgeny definitely. Oh, there's the, there's the knee to the face. There's the knee to the chin. And it looks like Evgeny Sandik caught him in the arm. But there was the knee I was talking about. If he can get you inside, that's what he's going to go for. He came with the knee again. Evgeny definitely defended that one well with a punch to the face. That's the knee you got to worry about. If I'm Evgeny, that's the knee I'm looking for because he threw it twice. He landed once. He got him in the arm. And thank God, because I'll tell you right now, when that knee connects and he knows it, Evgeny knows it, if he gets you with it, it's lights out.
I want to have to give that round to Evgeny, although Nagimi may have turned it on a little bit towards the end of the round. I'm going to say Evgeny Karaskoy took that round for sure. So my first round choice is going to be with uh, Evgeny Karovskoy for that round. And the Gibby's going to be going for knockouts. He's not a point. I, I don't look at him as a point fighter. You, you see he does have a, a, a good knockout punch, and he uses it quite often. He goes to it quite often. Evgeny keeping him at bay with that straight leg kick. I think he's already been told to watch out for the knee. You're going to watch him bring up that straight leg kick, I think, quite a lot more tonight as Nagimbi tries to get in close. A lot of punching, not much landing right there between either fighter. See, Evgeny's doing a really good job. He's keeping his gloves up. He's defending himself quite well. He's not allowing himself to get punched even when he's throwing his kicks. He's actually quite aggressive. He's throwing a lot of punches and kicks so far in this fight. But Nagimbi's not really getting the advantage of coming in. Ooh, there was a, with a back, Nagimbi's back turn, turned around, almost got a kick right to the head. Evgeny tried to get that right kick. Fair. I mean, if you watch the Ronda Rousey fight, that's pretty much what happened to her. Her back turns, turned around, and got nailed right in the head. Again, he going to his knee in the lock up there. A nice right leg to the head by Nagimbi. A spinning right kick by Evgeny, completely blocked. Oh, there, there's an uppercut that snuck right through. A nice right leg kick to the head. Evgeny using pretty much everything in his arsenal. Going, he's, he's doing a nice alternating from his punches to his kicks, keeping Nagimbi off guard. It seems like Nagimbi's not really ready for this. He doesn't have an answer for it at this stage. And right now I'm going to say Evgeny is uh, definitely winning. I think he won the first round. I think he won the second round. I think he's definitely playing a much more technical fight. Nagimbi gets a couple punches in there. He's got a, a nice little right-left or left-right jab that snuck through the gloves. He's blocking pretty much what Evgeny's throwing. <laughs> Ten seconds left in the second round. And I'm going to say Evgeny has a uh, commanding lead in the first fight. I think Nagimbi has a chance here. He either has to go for a knockout or he's uh, he's lost. I, I'm gonna get. He looked much more not prepared, but much more aggressive. He was landing more punches. Uh, he was blocking Nagimbi's punches. Nagimbi blocked a lot of Nagimbi's kicks and punches as well, but a lot more landed, and he was definitely the aggressor in the first two rounds. And just in style, I'm gonna have to go with points for Nagimbi. We're in the third round. This is the final round. This could be the uh, end. We could go to a fourth round. I don't see it going to a fourth round. Maybe the only way it goes to a fourth round is if Gimby gets like one or two knockdowns in this round and uh, Gainey gets up and we go to a decision. But other than that, fighters, please, the center of the ring. It's the third and final round. They say they uh, the current projected score is tied. Hey. 
There's a knee that connected to the head by Nagimbi. Wasn't a strong knee, but it's still connected. I don't know what that bear hug was. There's a right hook by Nagimbi that landed. A nice spinning uh, kick to the midsection by Evgeny, which landed. And he's just now, he's just throwing a, a nice little set of combination. There's a knee to the chin. That landed again by Nagimbi. There's a left hook by Evgeny, which actually snuck through the glove and landed. Oh, there's an uppercut by Nagimbi, which definitely landed, and a knee to the left. He's got him! If Nagimbi's got Evgeny on the ropes. Oh, but I'll tell you what, he just shook him off. He had a good three, four, five punches, which just were landing. Evgeny's arms went down. It looked like he was stunned. Unfortunately, it didn't seem to have the effect it, it at first appeared to be. But sometimes you can stun, stun somebody, punch again, and knock them right back into reality. But Nagimbi needs something here. He had him. He had a nice combination. He was landing everything. He doesn't, but I'll tell you, Nagimbi doesn't seem to have that pop behind his punch that he had in the last tournament in August. Seems to be a little bit slower and a little bit weaker. But I'll tell you, he caught him. He had him up against the ropes. He had Yevgeny stunned. He just couldn't finish the job. Let's see if we go. We got a minute 24 to go here in the third round. This round is all Nagimbi, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Nagimbi needs, I think, at least a knockdown to get a fourth and final round. That's my personal opinion. Like the rest of you, I don't get to see the points until after the fight. Evgeny gets a nice couple shots in, a nice left followed by a right. Both landed on Nagimbi's face, both hooks. Not very hard, but nonetheless, they land. Another right by Nagimbi, a left jab lands, another left jab, followed by a right hook. The mouthpiece is out by Evgeny. I think he's stunned again. A knee to the face. He's wobbly. Oh, a right. His mouthpiece is out. His mouthpiece is out. It's a standing A count. Rightfully so. They should have stopped as soon as the mouthpiece came out. It was a very, the judge should have seen it. The ref did not see that. Evgeny was stunned, but I'll tell you, look at him. He's getting, he's getting hammered. That's twice now he's been against the rope. That's twice. Nagimbi's just hammering him, and that's twice he just looked at him and shrugged. The man's got a chin and a half. He's a very tough fighter, and I'm surprised that they didn't stop that. And Nagimbi saw the mouthpiece out, and he wanted to stop it, but you know you can't stop until the ref stops it. There's the straight leg kick to the chest. Nagimbi just having his way right now, throwing punches left, right, and center. He's just trying to take him down. 10 seconds left, this fight is over, but I'll tell you right now, Nagimbi had a commanding, commanding lead. Look at Yevgeny stunned again, but I'll tell you, that man does not go down. He does not go down. I'll give him all, all the credit in the world. You know, he took a lot of punches. Most fighters would have been down after the first time. He stood there and shrugged him off both times, shows a little wildliness. Man's got a chin and a half, congratulations to him. Nagimbi clearly won that fight, he might even Won it by 10-8. We got, well, it, I'm going to say, give me, I'll give that round 10-8. So we might end up with a fourth round. I don't know why they're taking the gloves off because we could end up with a fourth and final round. And I think that's exactly where we're going right now, people. I really think we're going to get a fourth round out of this, which will be even more exciting. I want to see more because now they finally turned it on. The first two rounds were a bit slow. They gave us a lot of excitement there in the third round, both fighters. Yevgeny has a busted lip pretty bad. Lucky he didn't bite his, you know, really bite his tongue because his mouth was out. Both wanted to stop the fight. The ref didn't stop, and they were trying to stop. But you just, you know, you can't put your gloves down and say stop. You just got to do it. But a very, very good end of the first fight. Revs you up, gets you nice and energetic. Has puts a big smile on my face. Let's see. Let's see what the refs get, what the uh, judges say. I'm going with a fourth round on this one. I, that, in my opinion, there has to be Ladies a fourth round after that. I think Evgeny won the first two rounds. I don't think it was so easy. I thought it was very closely matched. It just felt the like he was more aggressor. By a maturity decision. Oh, so we have a winner. Fighter I'm from have to go into the red corner, Chris Nagibi. I had to go into Gibby after that final round. The fight was close enough in the first two rounds that I would have slightly edged up uh, Evgeny, but I do believe that that last round, he three times pretty much pummeled him, had him on the ropes, had him wobbly, but what a great fight.
That could have gone either way. It was the last round. Without that last round, I think Evgeny would have been advancing to the next, to the finals. Chris Gibbett, disco dancer.